Jason Bright, and as the temp cools out, you'll see the lap times improve. Problem here, Jack Perkins. Oh. We've seen this happen here many times. It's a very tight pick lane. He might cop a penalty for that. He might have been better to try and sneak around with the years. Here's the replay. The strap field replay shows what's happened. He's trying to pull it up. It's getting all crossed up on the oil. He can't make the left-hander. Oh. He was so lucky not to get stuck in that bunker there. Lucky not to do any damage, too, to the uh, front spoiler, particularly. What a signing moment for Jamie Wincup. In he comes. Oh, he's had a moment. He's in the gravel. No! A massive moment there. A race-changing moment for Jamie Wincup. Some push the limit a little bit too far, run off the track. Looks like we're still second, of course, so uh, not good, but uh, relatively happy with my skin apart from that. Thanks, mate. Thanks. Well, it was a slow pit stop for Mark Scaife and the Holden Racing Team, you might have noticed there. Scaife brushed the wall uh, up around the top of the mountain and the team just wanted to take the time to make sure that... Oh, young Nick Perkett. This is Garth Tander on approach. <laughs> Carrying a little bit too much on approach. Whoa. <laughs> he had it dancing, didn't he? <laughs> Ooh, we got through in the end. Big deal, though. It just skates off all pretty gentle. And uh, some action coming into the pit lane here, too. That's a bit awkward for James Moffat, it seems. That's been done a few times before. Good job in this with Prema in fourth, Bourdais seventh, Oliver Gavin eighth. It is very early days as the 22 of Jack Perkins pits from sixth oh, position. That was almost, that is an off. It's an off for Jack Perkins. This happened to his dad a few years ago. Had a moment down in the pit lane as well. But he's pressed off. And a five-time winner in the GT category. Replay of Perkins going off on the entry to pit lane. And we've also got some drama leaving the lane. Here we go. This is Will, Shane Van Gisbergen, Holdsworth, Steve Owen, and Lowndes has done the same as Jamie, as did Jamie yesterday. yesterday. He just gave the fence a hit on the exit of the pit. Zinger replay. Courtney heading into the pits behind Mark Scaife. Oh, oh, he's shot off. Oh, uh, that's why. James, just to try and get the engine temperature down. We have to try and get the engine temperature down. And, and they're asking Jay Field roughly around about a half. Well, that's Russell Ingle on screen here at the moment. This is the wild entry into pit lane for Chaz Mostert. Uh, just a couple of moments ago, he arrived in the... Oh, 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 oh. He's got better tyres, but they don't help when you're on the grass. Well, they're totally green. Yeah, they're still coming off the back of Greg Murphy's car. The other guy that was quick in that same portion of the race where Winterbottom was quick and uh, off for another one, Cold Tyres. Zinger replay, and this is yeah. McConville. Cold Tyres, it's just been a real trap this weekend, hasn't it? That's Will Davison, he took his stop on the same lap. You can see the exposed rim on the left rear of Will Davison's car. And off the road down here, Andre Heimgarten, the car number three at turn two, very easily done. So.